Hey everyone, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Halls and more. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe and become part of our crazy Beautifully But Broken family. I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all today, so let's get into it because this is going to be part one. Um, I wanted to get all of my Christmas shopping done now, that way the rest of my paychecks for this the rest of this year or month can be focused solely on my bills and getting caught up in everything and so on and so forth. So let's get part one of this haul done and I will do part two after so you guys will see me in the same outfit multiple times. If you guys watch my collective haul, I had this on and I will have this on for part one and part two of the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so that's enough of my rambling for the moment. Let's get into it. So let's do... I'm not going to lie, this is kind of all over the place, you guys. I, you know, usually I'm, like, really uh, organized with it, but I was just like, forget it. I'm tired. So, I do see food here we're starting with, so let's just get into that. I picked up two bottles of the Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. You get 34 fluid ounces. Peyton and I like to drink green tea a lot. And it is good for you. I picked up the Mastro's Fudge Marshmallow Cookies with Strawberry Artificially Flavored. These are good till 12 2. Of 22, you get 12 pieces or 5.80 ounces. I thought Peyton would like to give these a try because she likes this kind of stuff. They had the Snyder's of Hanover Butter Snaps flavored pretzels, and these are good until February 26th of 22. They are low fat and zero trans fat. I love these things. They are delicious, and it is 110 calories per serving, and they're saying a serving size is one ounce or about 23 pretzels. So... There's that. I seen my girl Michelle Bright haul these pecan shortbread cookies before and she said they are amazing. So I found them in my Dollar Tree and wanted to give them a try. They are by the Amber Farms. They are good until July 5th of 22. You get 8 ounces. It says delicious and buttery just like a shortbread cookie should be. So I'll give those a try. It sounds like it'd be good with my coffee. Um, I picked up just this little bag of Reese's Pieces snack size packs. You get 2.94 ounces. So there's that. It's like in the little fun size baggies. You can see it's starting to show right there. I found this um, sugar-free salted caramel flavored syrup um, for you know, when you want flavored coffee or whatever. So I thought Peyton and I could give that a try. And this is by Sweet Sensations. You get 12 fluid ounces in here. Sorry for the glare, you guys. I also picked up two boxes of these Warhead Cube Sour and Sweet Fruity Chewy Candies to put in Peyton's Christmas stuff. She likes sour. She loves sour candy. So you get four ounces in the, Yeah, four ounces in these. I also picked up a bag of the Bob's Sweet Stripes Soft Peppermint Candy Sticks. You get five ounces for my hot cocoa bar. So there's that. I picked up two boxes of the Sella's um, chocolate covered cherries. You only get three in each. It's 1.5 ounces. But their dad loves these things and he asked for only these for Christmas. So I always get him these little bags, like this little pouch like this as a gag gift because he's going to tell me what his story going to do for me. And then. Um, I picked him up a pack of the Pop Rocks. It's the original flavor of crackling candy. So it says original cherry artificially flavored America's original popping candy brand. You get three packs. Because he had seen 
um, one of our son's girlfriend's kids with these and was going to steal them from her. And I said, no, on Thanksgiving. So now he has his own pack. Um, and then I just found these Lindor truffle bars, the Lent Lorndale. Lorndale. Lindor. Lint. Lindor. Um, truffle bars. So I got the caramel milk chocolate truffle bar. And this is 1.3 ounces. And then I got just the milk chocolate truffle bar. You know, for those days when you feel like you need, you need to, you know, um, have a little something sweet, a little sweet treat. Two, three, one, because like there's little divots. One piece, two, three, four, five. It's six, so yeah, that'll last. Sometimes you just want just a little bite of something sweet. And that is it. Okay, I did pick up this foam containers 10 pack for because I'm doing Christmas here. So leftovers they can take home in these. That way I don't lose out on any of my Tupperware because that happens yearly usually. Um, I did pick up some home. I I don't know if I'm gonna give this to Peyton or not. But it says be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons, and it has. A little flamingo there covered in pink glitter and it's all tropical looking I thought that was super cute I picked up one of the little trinket trays in the plaid just because I have a red candle I'm gonna stick on here and if I end up not burning it I don't want it to melt on the furniture I picked up three packs of these removable hooks that holds up to 0 0.2 pounds um, to do some Christmas lights around my windows. I picked up these Cold Stone Creamery candy canes. It comes in oh, okay. mint chocolate chip, strawberry blonde, and birthday cake flavors. So I thought those looked good. And those are flavors that, like Peyton would love picked up another one of these green travel mugs that says eat sleep and be mer merry for a gift basket I am going to be putting together for somebody all of them together. yes they are okay. um, cosmetics I think I only picked up these three so I did find them Glow Rush. Three pops of color in one pot. This is called the Halo Vibe. This is a highlighter palette. So I thought that was pretty. And then I found this eyeshadow. It's called the Beauty Pot. Three pops of color in one. And this is called Hello There. I really like that pink color. And that brownish orange yeah color <coughs> and then this one is <coughs> excuse me blush rush fresh glow three in three pops of color in one pot and I just thought these colors would complement my skin tone the best I think that's it for makeup. I think. Don't hold me to it. I did pick up, they only had this one left, one of these pink caboodles, or wannabe caboodles, as a gift. Um, I found, I think they're being so disorganized, you guys. I did find the little planters, and I picked up Pauline the Polar Bear. Thought she was cute. I needed more glue sticks, and so I picked up this eight count of gl jot glue sticks. So I'm probably gonna keep four for my craft stash, and then send the other four, or put the other four in the bin I am making for Mark's. I guess we'll call them stepdaughters um, for their uh, 
I'll show you guys that in the next haul. All right, here's another pack of those hooks. I also picked up this a gnome tin for a gift to be done in. Um, I have hauled the gingerbread version one before, and then I found this one today. And I like how it has the ribbon on it and everything. It's super cute. Love the gnomes. As you guys know, a bag out here. Okay. I picked up this 12 pack of candy canes and cherry flavor to put in the bins of craft stuff I'm giving Mark's stepdaughters. I got a pack of these mosaic glass tiles. I got two of these. I think these are pastels and the other ones might be more saturated colors, but I haven't come across it yet. But there's that one. I picked up another pack of Christmas cards. This one says peace and love throughout the season on the outside and on the inside it says and into the new year. So here's how those look on the outside. And that's what it says. So that it says on the inside. And you get 14 cards in here. And I don't think that is a bad deal for a dollar. Here's those other mosaic tiles. Yeah, these are the more primary colors for saturated ones. So there's that. I did pick up two more of these sweater-like ornaments for my tree behind me here. So just those. I already got the other two I picked up a while ago on here. I finally found some Christmas stickers, and this was the only pack they had left. Like, I grabbed the last one. So here's what the front of it looks like. You get 80 stickers. So this one is, like, holographic. This one's got a green background. This one's got, like, a gray background. They're all slightly different, and then some of them are just the same. Here's a pink background. Periwinkle, and that's it. I just wanted those to be able to put on my packages and stuff that I send out. I did pick up... I think she's sleeping already, honestly. They wanted some dry erase markers to take to work with her. So I picked her up two different packs for her Christmas gifts. So I picked up the four pack of Jot dry erase markers. She didn't want black because I have a whole bunch of black ones that I have to use for work. Because I told her to just take some of those. She said, no, I want colors. So these ones are yellow, orange, purple, and pink. And then I, they had the Bic Intensity, which is the brand I have in my office, but just in black. And this one is red and blue. For um, a dollar. And then, oh, I picked up these beads for the kids' craft bin I'm working on for their Christmas gift. I picked up some more of this red snowflake ribbon because I swore I already hauled this, but I couldn't find it in my craft stash. So there's that again. And then I found two paint markers, one in silver and one in gold. And they both say broad line on them from Crafters Square. Silver and gold. So there's those. Is that it in this bag? Oh, yeah. And now they're doing these blind bags. It's eight puppies and eight dog houses. Puppy Friends Club. I'm like a toddler. I need, like, I don't, I like, I don't know. I think I just enjoy the surprise part. Like, I don't know what's in here, but I don't need to know. So, this is just for fun. Comes with these little stickers. And you can name the dog. And put that on the house. Here's the little dog house. And then here is the little puppy luppy. And it's fuzzy. Like to be furry. It's cute. Super tiny. His eyeballs are a little wonky. And you just put him in there. Like that. And then you can decorate all this with your stickers. So that's super cute. And they're gonna have room on the little shelves. What's this one's? It's a beagle. He's a beagle. I thought so. So you can get um, a Welsh corgi, a Shih Tzu, a Border Collie, a Pit Bull, 
a beagle, a schnauzer, a dachshund, or a rottweiler. I'll show you on the back of the packaging all the different ones to collect. So we've got this little fella right here with a beagle. I think. Or is it the Shih Tzu? No, that's a, that's a beagle. That's a beagle. I'm sorry. I'm staring at Peyton's cat. The little jerk's up on my kitchen island right now. Okay, back to this nut. I did pick up the balloon sticks. I said you get four, but there's one, two, three. There's really eight in here, which I'm not complaining. This is just for some decoration I have outside that needed these to help support it. Um, I found these light bulb terraniums. I thought these were cool. So I picked up two of them. For my, and they're plastic. But they're super cute. I did find the makeup cases. Yeah. Cosmetic cases, they're calling these. And the iridescent white. And then you have this little sticker here. That's in gold, black, and white. And then when you open it, you have a mirror in the block of that. And a little tray here and here. So I picked up two of these. Same exact colors. And then I found the um, Valero plant derived bar soap in the peppermint and tea tree. I debate, I'm debating on putting this in Mark's um, bin, but honestly, the smell kind of reminds me of eucalyptus. And I feel like if I put it in the shower, it'll help like open up your sinuses. So I'm either going to give this to him and buy my own. No, I'm just going to open it. I'll buy him another one if he even, if I even think he's going to use it. Yeah, it reminds me of those vapor sticks you can buy from Dollar Tree that you to open up your sinuses. So I feel like this would be good in the shower. <laughs> Even if you don't use it just to let it the steam melt it or whatever. Okay, and then oh a repeat purchase. I bought two boxes of puffs because we are completely out and we've been using toilet paper. I did pick up Another roll of wrapping paper in this candy cane striped pattern. By the Christmas house, you get 30 square feet. And it says there are grid lines on the back to help you cut out your shapes that you need. Oh, and I did pick up an extra um, snow brush with scraper. I mean, it's cheap quality, but we're for a buck, what do you expect? But I like having extras of these in my car because somehow, some way, it always goes missing. And I don't, I don't understand. Because I usually, I used to buy like the nice heavy duty ones. But when they keep disappearing, it's like, well, why do I, why bother? You know, somebody steal it from me on that. Okay, and then I have this bin here. I actually bought four of these. And it's just like dusty pink color. Um, so I got a couple... Candy striped bows. So these ones are like a shiny red. And then this two pack is just the flat, flat red and white. If you guys could see this mess. Whew. I did pick up more sinus ingestion because if you can tell, it's still lingering. But that's normal with me, with my health. So what is I finally found the beauty blenders that come with their own cases. So I picked up three. One for me, one for Peyton, and one for um, Sierra, my other daughter, as I call her. I picked up a deck of cards for Mark to have in his stash because he only has one deck, and sometimes we play games that require two decks. I finally found... Where's the other one? I don't know. I found the Yardley cinnamon swirl. And I found the cranberry one, too. It must be in the other bins. Anyway, um, 
limited edition. This smells amazing. So there it is. And it says cinnamon swirl with cinnamon leaf and clove bud oils. It smells so good. So I bought two of the cinnamon swirl and two of the frosted cranberry. And then I found the ombre tote bags that say camp collection. Let's make memories. I found two. I picked up two of them just to put in some bins for Christmas gifts. And then I found some cologne for Marcus that I thought smelled amazing. So this one is, <coughs> excuse me, number 32, Luxury Men, our version of Eternity for Men by Kelvin Klein. I sprayed a little bit in the store. I didn't care. It smells just like Eternity. So there's that. And then I picked up the number 28 luxury for men our version of polo black by ralph lauren this smells amazing also and you get 2.5 fluid ounces in this and the same for this and then i picked him up as um loofah because he does use body wash and i picked up actually three of these um prayer boxes that say give it to God. So I'll be giving one to my daughter, one to my other daughter, Sierra, and then the third one to Mark's current girlfriend. And last but not least for this haul, we have another dusty rose pink bin and just two cleaning supplies. So I finally found the Glass Plus Advanced Formula Streak Free Glass Cleaning Wipes. You get 160 wipes in here. It says best for windows, glass, mirror, and car windshields. Spotless cleaning. Pristine shine. We shall see. We shall see. Made in the U.S. of A. By QYK Brands. So there's that. And then I picked up. Um, a thing of Lime Away Thick Gel Formula Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I like using this stuff to clean the toilets. So, that is it for part one of this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all enjoyed my finds, enjoyed my content. And if you are new here, please stick around. Like I said in the beginning of this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up or a like, as we say. Um, comment, share if you would like and all that other goodness. I will talk to you guys again shortly. Bye-bye. Love y'all.